All right, take two of trying to get this uh, recording to work. <laughs> um, so I'm on my uh, my laptop today. Uh, I realized uh, just a little bit ago that it's almost uh, 11:30, and or after 11:30 now, and um, I had forgotten to record a video today. And given that I didn't do a Wednesday last week, I didn't want to miss uh, two in a row. So um, I had my laptop out, just jumped on that instead of jumping over to my office and getting that all, all sort of set up. So this is a little bit of a ghetto one. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Hopefully the audio is working this time and you can hear me and everything is good because I already recorded this once. Uh, also, just as a side note, uh, somebody asked in the comments in uh, the last video uh, about a poster that I had in the background that had some Russian font on it. Uh, I collect um, uh, like Soviet era propaganda art. Uh, which explains the uh, the giant Mao poster <laughs> that you can see behind me. Uh, that is not a endorsement uh, of any political uh, ethos or, or beliefs. Uh, that I, that just means I like the art. Uh, that's uh, that's the style of, one of the styles of art that I like. Anyway, so what are we talking about today? Right today we're going to go ahead and take a look uh, at dot files and graph viz which I'm guessing is something that a lot of you guys probably haven't played with before because it's one of those things that seems like it is a fairly limited application, but it's but it actually has a tons of different uses. Um, um, obviously not sort of directly um, in terms of you know systems engineering or things like that, but it's great for uh, documentation and as the name implies, graphing things visually. So. The, um, the core of GraphViz is something called a dot file, a DOT file. Um, and that's also one of the extensions you can go use for the, the files that you use to go create the graphs. If I do a man dot, you can see that there's a bunch of different commands. There's dot, neato, and uh, tupy, and circo, and FTP, and a bunch of these other kind of uh, options that make slightly different kinds of graphs. Um, so basically what you do is you have a file, it's called a dot file. Uh, I'll go ahead and just create a new one real quick. Uh, new uh, dot or new example. Oh, what am I doing? It's late. I've been writing all day. Uh, <laughs> new dot uh, gv for graph is. You can also do dot dot. Uh, I'm going to do gv. I don't know why. Um, and then basically what you do is you give the name of the graph uh, or you do the type of graph that you want to go ahead and use. Uh, so we'll do just regular graph. Uh, and they'll do foo, and then you do curly braces, uh, and then what you do is you just do uh, like an indent of some type, and then you go ahead and do uh, the name of a node, the next node, and then we can go ahead and do a c, and we can also say c b, something like this, right? Uh, and then we can do dot uh, and then we tell what type of file we want to output there's a bunch of them there's like um, PNG and SVGs and PDFs and stuff like that I'm just gonna do a PNG uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, new.gv and then we're gonna do an out of uh, let's see new.png right so I'm gonna run that command no errors so far uh, and then we can go ahead and open this up uh, and take a look at it uh, with a display new PNG. Right? So you can see here that we get this little graph where it's you know A is connected to B, B is connected to C, C is connected to A. Right? Nothing crazy or fancy or anything like that, but you know, neat that we did that really quickly. Right? So we can go ahead and then VI this. And if I go ahead and do a colon percent S uh, dash 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 uh, Greater than, and I replace it like this, and I change this to a digraph, a directional graph. We can go rerun the dot command, and we can go open this up, and now I can go see that this is directional. So we get A going to B, uh, A going to C, and C going to B, right? Which is kind of cool. Um, so as it is, this is not, you know, massively impressive or anything like that. But because the syntax is so simple it's really, really easy to go create these programmatically. So, um, you know, I work with storage a lot. 
let's say, for example, I was going into an environment where they had a lot of um, you know, clients that were connected to NFS servers, uh, and I wanted to go diagram that out. Uh, well, I could go you know, probably fairly easily figure out where all my clients were and what systems they were connected from to, uh, and you know, the mount points were and all that kind of stuff, and create a little text file that I could then you know, export to a PNG and have this really cool, impressive little graph that could be, could be neat. Um, I'm working on this, this course right now uh, for the LPI Linux Essentials uh, that hopefully I should have done in two weeks. Uh, and I'm, I'm almost there. I basically get a couple more modules and the exercises to go through. Uh, but one of the things that I was looking at is um, sort of illustrating you know, standard in and standard out um, and sort of redirection, things like that with processes. Uh, and I could just sort of draw them, and that's what I have in the, in the, the slides right now. Uh, but I created a little, you know, simple um, standard I.O. kind of version of this. So if I just do a VI standard I.O. Uh, dot GV, you can go see that I already have uh, a graph here, which is going from the terminal to standard in, and the standard in is going to a process. Uh, and then we have the process going to standard out, uh, and then the standard out is going to process two, basically showing like what a pipe would look like. And in this case, we also have process two standard out going back to the terminal. Um, and then process two is going to go ahead and have their standard error go to dev null, right? I just called it P2 standard error. So um, I already created that graph earlier when I did the, the previous uh, version of this video. But if I look at a display for that, right, standard dot PNG, you can see that this is, you know, uh, a bit more of an impressive graph. I mean, it's still not crazy or anything like that, but it's showing the directions of how things are going and get process going to standard error. That's going back to the terminal. Um, we, for the first process, we get standard uh, in going, you know, to the, the, you know, from the terminal going to the process, and then the process is outputting to standard out. That's passed on to, you know, process two as standard in. Uh, and then we have, you know, P2 standard error being passed out to dev null. <clears throat> Nothing crazy for a diagram, but you could see how simple that, that example was, right? Not GV. You know, it's, it's a couple lines. It's basically like five lines of information uh, and then just the, you know, the diagraph kind of piece. Um, and then there's the other kinds that we have. So we have like Neato. Actually, I could probably just do this. Right, I can do... Neato on this one. Let's do one new. And then there's a circo. And I don't know how you know impressive these will be. Um, but we'll just do uh, display star new.png. So you can see that we get A to B to C and it, lay, it lays it out slightly different. Um, than the other ones. Well, I guess it doesn't like that. <laughs> let's close that. Um, let's do display one new. All right, so that I guess it may just be that they all look the same because the graph is not complicated enough uh, to to make a difference. No, all right. So yeah, it's um, all, all pretty much the same there. Um, but it's a really neat little tool. Um, I don't know that all of you guys will find this incredibly useful, but I bet a bunch of you will, um, especially for any of you guys who are still students and stuff like that. You know, throw that into a you know a science paper and it'll make it look like you did like a whole bunch of work, or you know, make a make like a mind map for that or something like that. <laughs> you know, I, I actually you know for if any of you guys are writers, uh, I bet you could go ahead and, and use that to go create some really interesting like character interaction graphs and stuff like that uh, for. Uh, you know, projects or whatever it is. So uh, I hope that was useful. Um, I know this video is a little bit ghetto. Uh, I hope that the audio works this time because I really don't want to go do it again. And I probably won't if it didn't. <laughs> but uh, if, uh, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, feel free to, to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, on Sunday with a, a higher production value <laughs> version of a video. So thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.